So here's the house. It's on a pretty good street. It has a small apartment complex right there. It looks like about six apartments. Um, next to it, uh, you know, small family homes all the way down. Here's a cross street. This is like a newer house right here, a full remodel. Uh, everything is gated. Um, it's a good neighborhood. Down there is State Street. Uh, the far road down there is State Street. It's one of the more busy streets, but it has access to anything you would ever want. It's got transportation, tracks, movie theaters, food. There's a village inn at the end of the road. Um, yeah, really, it's a nice little block. It's pretty quiet. I've been here for about 10 minutes and I haven't seen much action. The mailman was just here. Um, most everybody's yard is manicured and nice. Um, decent landscaping throughout. So I feel like it's, you know, it's not a bad block. Not quite a great view of the mountains, but they're back there. Get a shot down the side road here. Here's the house. Let's go inside. It's a newer front door. Oh, you know, nice entrance way. As soon as you come in, you're into these vaulted ceilings right here, all the way to the top with these cool cross beams all the way down. As you can see, it's hardwood floors the entire way. Uh, the whole thing was covered by carpeting. You can see that the tack boards are still in place. They would need to get removed and we could resurface this floor. It's probably the first thing I would have done, but it would add value to the house by a lot. These are gorgeous floors, really. Here is the comparison between a, the, uh, the not finished floor and the finished floor. It's like a night and day night and day comparison here uh, finishing the floors makes it like just look amazing I think the realtor did this just to show you how nice they could be he just did this one room um, but wow the difference could be amazing the hardwood runs throughout the entire bottom of the house all the way back into your first bedroom as you can see, there's some paint on this floor. It, that's why uh, resurfacing would be a really good way to go. You can make all this real beautiful. Um, you know, nice closet in here, decent sized room. This could also be a closet if you'd want to. It looks like this is a closet door right here. Um, first bedroom, not bad. Two windows, decent view, nice lighting. Here we go, ready for the blue bathrooms. So blue tile flooring, blue toilet, blue sink. Oh, that's the one that kills me the most, I think. And uh, blue bathtub. And uh, blue bathtub. Uh, decent shape though, you know, nice tiling around the, around the outside, no mold, ceiling fan over top, uh, toilets, aren't brand new but still in very nice shape uh, sink also v pretty clean and in good shape really uh, adjacent to that bathroom is your laundry room uh, now it said the washer isn't included maybe the dryer is but we could that's all negotiable if we wrote the contract I try to include both of these items uh, these are pull out spaces for garbage this is your back door right here Obviously, maybe at one point they had a cat because that's a cat door. Uh, here's your, these are utilities. That's your, uh, this here is a water softener and here is a very brand new water heater. So in good shape. This is also a newer furnace right over here. All these appliances are in great shape. So let's walk back through to the kitchen again. Great hardwood. This is an amazing uh, wood fire stove right here. Uh, you could put a TV right above it, it'd be great. Uh, it has this giant cabinet in the house. You could take that or leave it. Uh, really, I think it is pretty cool though. 
Uh, obviously, here's the finished wood flooring again, right into the kitchen, tile flooring. And you know, in general, it's a pretty nice kitchen. Uh, all the uh, cabinets are in very good condition. None are hanging open or have broken hinges. Uh, it has newer fixtures here on the sink. This is an updated sink for sure and fixtures. The stove is extra wide, but is a little old and might be in need of replacing. Um, but I think in general it would function well. All right, let's head upstairs to the three bedrooms. So as you can see, it's a gorgeous lofted area. Really cool. I've never seen really a lot of construction like this in Salt Lake. Very, very unique house. Love the construction. Great view from the loft. You could still talk to everyone downstairs. Um, let's head into the master bedroom. Uh, this is the master bedroom. You know, nice size windows, big room. Uh, really nice skylights up in the hole. They run the entire length of the house. They really let in some nice natural lighting. Uh, here's your closet. You know, not too big. Nice set of drawers in there. You could bring that out if you want to. Um, let's go over to the master bath. You know, here we go. Very ornate lighting fixtures. <laughs> um, here we are with, again, a great... Uh, this one, I would say, is you know, dark green, or light green th sink, light green toilet, light green tub. Although all is in very good, very clean working order. Uh, it looks like it needs a shower head right there. Could write that into the contract. Um, but in general, I mean, it is very clean, very clean. So this is your second bedroom. It's almost a master though. It has another bath attached to it. That means there's two bathrooms upstairs, one bathroom downstairs. This one doesn't have a tub, but does have a very nice finished shower. Very nice. Uh, this extra bathroom really adds value. If you would just re redo a little bit of this, they're in excellent condition and working, but if you redid them, you could really add some value to the house. Here is your third bedroom upstairs. Again, a lot of natural light, high ceilings, uh, decent sized closet. This bedroom upstairs does not have its own bathroom, but you can, everyone can have a master, I suppose. A uh, little condensation on the window here. It's been a hot day. Um, carpeting, you know, probably could use to be replaced, but not that bad, really. A uh, very livable room. Back out into the hallway. Again, we have uh, high skylighting throughout the whole house, which I don't have any lights on and it looks really great. About to head outside through the back door. Um, you open this gate up, walk right here. And then here's your gate to the back door, or the back, sorry, the backyard. Nice little backyard, uh, flower bed right here in the center. Uh, a solid eight foot high gate, or I guess it's probably about a six, seven foot high gate around the outside. Um, nice little tree here for shade. Um, bush could use some manicuring here. A little overgrown but not too bad. Walking all the way around to the back. This is your easement on the side of your house. Um, just gives you a little you know, privacy away from your neighbor's house. You could store things back there. Uh, it's fully gated. You could have an animal if you wanted to dog or uh, you know a pet who would have to be inside the whole time uh, over here is the garage it's a one-car garage obviously very nice I can't get us in there right now because the other agent hasn't given me the key for it yet but I'm pretty sure it's just a standard one car behind the garage is its own separate workspace it's a uh, you know just a separate room for storage ski storage Anything you would want. This is right adjacent to the garage. The garage is on the other side of this wall. Um, it's, there's a lot of stuff in here. All this junk. We would get all this taken care of and removed for you guys if you would be interested. Anyway, it's a nice backyard. The house is nice. You can see the, the stovepipe right there from the, uh, from the furnace. It has... 
uh, AC and forced forced air. So, and that's the carrier AC unit right there. Actually, that's a newer unit. You know, this unit's probably within the last five years. So that's a really nice AC unit. It's going to keep the house nice and cool in the summertime. You don't really want to have to mess around with swamp coolers. Um, it doesn't look like it has a sprinkler system, but I'm not sure. You know what? It does have a sprinkler system. There it is. Anyway, it's a really nice backyard. I really like this property. I think it's in a good neighborhood. I really think that uh, in five years when you sell it or so, four years, if you do a few small remodels, could really make a lot in this property.